media certainly lighting up after our story last night about vacant storefronts in the Elmwood Village. An awful lot of people place the blame on the lack of parking in the neighborhood. But would added parking ruin the vibe of Elmwood? Two on your side's Danny Spiewak took a drive tonight to find out. Spot after spot after spot, all taken on this Friday evening. That's life in the Elmwood Village when it comes to parking. You literally have to fight for it and it's kind of annoying. Think that's bad? Cherise Ocasio has to referee those parking fights as an attendant in a commercial lot. It's not easy finding parking out here. The city has tried to help. Two years ago, it opened up more than a thousand parking spots on 17 side streets by allowing seasonal parking on both sides of the road. But the Elmwood Village Association still wants the city to do a full parking study to see where other improvements could be made. It's probably the most common complaint that we hear. Um, but again, I'd like to focus on the fact that if parking is a good problem to have. It means that a lot of people are coming here and there's a lot of business. But you may be surprised to find out that a lot of people who live and work in this neighborhood say the parking complaints are overblown. In fact, they say the whole point of being in the Elmwood Village is to enjoy the walkability. Forget the cars. Look at all the walkers out there on a Friday night. And adding more parking could cause collateral damage, says one local business employee. You can't level buildings and just put up a parking lot. Commercial parking lots aren't allowed under city code in the Elmwood Village, but some developers have tried to build them anyway by applying for variances. Simonelli wanted to use the former J.P. Bullfeather's site to sell 32 public parking spaces, but the city's zoning board of appeals rejected that plan. Just find a side street, neighbors might say. You're really only looking at maybe if you have to park in a side street, an extra five minute walk. But if you're still frustrated, one city council member offered an easy solution. Try the Gallagher ramp near Elmwood and Utica. The city is making an effort to fill that garage. Maybe then some of these Elmwood spots might open up. Danny Spiewak, Channel 2 News.